We are getting a chance to hear from a retired New York City firefighter who was there on 9-11. Ron Parker spent months at Ground Zero in the aftermath. The word quit never crossing his mind. And at one point, he even became part of a memorable moment involving former President George W. Bush. September 11th, 2001, a day New York City firefighter Ron Parker remembers like it was yesterday. It was his day off, but as soon as he got word about what happened, he knew it was time to get to work. Amid the chaos, Parker couldn't believe what he was seeing. And I thought my mind was playing tricks with me because I didn't see anything but a mass of flames and steel that were probably maybe 20 stories high. Parker worked all day and into the night on 9-11, working to rescue those still living before going to the hospital because he couldn't breathe. He was back the next day and the next until January 6th, 2002. Parker lost dozens of friends. He recalls what it was like to see the list of the dead. Looking at the list and seeing 45 of your personal friends that, that died in 10 seconds, it's pretty tough. And, uh, you know, not this guy. Oh, my goodness. This guy had so many kids. Oh, not that guy. Not this guy. But 343 New York City fire, fighters died that morning. And uh, 45 of them were my friends. Parker also became part of a moment involving President George Bush as he spoke at Ground Zero. Parker could not hear the president speaking into a bullhorn, so he decided to let him know. So I yelled one word. I yelled, louder! What came next, that famous line now etched in the history books. I can hear you! <laughs> President Bush recalling the moment as he honored Parker in 2021 on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Thankfully, he started this uh, movement where people started screaming, we can't hear you, and I just blurted. And uh, it's just one of those weird moments where it kind of caught on. These days, Parker talks to firefighters and others about what happened. He says it is his mission to make sure people never forget. Still here. There's a reason for me being here, and I guess it's maybe to tell my story and and and, and not to forget all the, all the great people that, that that were murdered there that day. Incredibly moving to hear his firsthand account mm -hmm. um, and and what they went through uh, on 9/11. Ron Parker recounts his 9/11 experience in his book Chiefs, Pawns, and Warriors. Parker never intended to write a book, but then his psychiatrist suggested it as a form of therapy after developing post-traumatic stress syndrome. And I'll never forget meeting Ron. I met him years ago uh, at a Saints game, and there he was in his firefighter uniform. He stood there amongst the sea of rowdy football fans. There was this American hero, Ron Parker. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate him talking to us this mm -hmm. morning. And of course, we'll have continuing coverage of 9-11. Uh, you can head to our website for more right now. We've also posted a link at uh, this, looking back at this day in history, a day that certainly shocked America and the world. You can find that at ksbw.com or by downloading the KSBW mobile app.